Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing a story time video. I have never in my entire YouTube life ever done a story time video. I'm going to be doing my makeup as we do the video and I will I will make sure to list all my makeup products uh, below in the info bar so you guys know what I'm using. So anyway backstory because my dad's quite a good storyteller so I always kind of thought I wonder if I'm any good. My mum takes about 100 years to get to the point. Sorry love you mum. Basically as you guys know, I've never been too happy with my skin. I mean, I do speak past tense because it has been something that I've grown to accept about myself. I think acceptance is one of those things that happens the older you get. You start to kind of care a lot less about a certain standard of beauty that you think you should be at. I have textured skin. I had uh, spots as a teenager, very bad on my cheeks. I used to pick them and squeeze them and they used to turn into massive gaping holes in my face and therefore I now have like textured skin, uh, pitted uh, marks and scarring, pigmentation etc. But I've been using a derma roller for about a year and I changed up my skincare routine and my skin has drastically improved. I think you guys have noticed that yourself. I'm quite happy with how I look. I mean I'm, I'm not gonna say that oh my god you know you absolute goddess, you are the most beautiful, beautiful mirror, mirror on the wall kind of situation. But I accept the way that I look, I accept the person that I am, the personality that I have, the physical features that I have. I am very happy to not wear makeup, basically. I'm happy to just go about as I am. When I was younger, I used to be really self-conscious about how I looked, especially because other kids would mention, you know, my bad skin. And that's when insecurities kind of start. You know, it's always when somebody else says something to you. And then that's where all of a sudden, oh, I never thought of that. Oh my God, yeah, my nose is big. Oh my God, my lips are too big. Oh, my bum is too flat. Oh, my chest is too small. You know, all those kind of things that you never really thought of, but it was only because somebody else mentioned it. And the thing is, after a while, you just really stop giving a shit about what other people think because you need to learn how to love yourself. And I stopped worrying about what other people thought of me quite a long time ago. Like I said, it's definitely something that comes with age. But the reason why I've decided to do this video is that obviously not everybody is my age. Not everybody may have my level of confidence that I've had as I've grown. It's developed mostly because of people around me. I've got a very strong group of uh, strong women around me as well as supportive men too like my dad for example this is the new dior forever matte foundation by the way love it anyway so i have gray roots they grow i don't really care i dye it because i like to change the color of my hair now and then i'm happy to not go out wearing makeup i'm happy to go out wearing makeup i just don't really care because as long as i feel comfortable in how i look i always believe that that is what matters most Anyway, so my hair tends to grow quite quickly and my roots will start to cut. I dyed my hair a week and a half ago. My roots are already starting to show through. And the situation that I'm going to be talking about today actually happened um, about two, three weeks ago. And first thing was I went to go get my eyebrows threaded and my roots were quite obvious. They were quite, I mean, I know that they were there. I mean, I hate it when people say, do you know? It's like, no, I look in a mirror every day. Of course I know. Thank you for pointing it out as if I didn't know. And what's it got to do with you anyway? So anyway, I went to get my eyebrows threaded and the lady goes to me, oh, why have you got so much gray hairs? And I was like, because I haven't dyed it. And that was it. It was left at that. I think of my tone that kind of gave, gave away that, like, what's it got to do with you anyway? And... And I, it just made me think, well, what has it got to do with you? You've come here to, I've come here for you to come and thread my eyebrows for me. Why are you commenting on the fact that I got grey hairs? What if I was allergic to hair dye? You know, what if, what if, what if? There could be loads and loads of different types of what ifs. But what has it got to do with you? Nothing. Anyway, a couple of minutes later, literally a couple of minutes later, as I was silently brewing, walking down the road, I went and popped into a shop that may remain nameless, Sainsbury's, and um there is a lady there because i go there every day almost and i was wearing no makeup because the thing is the night before i'd used my derma roller and as you guys know if you've watched my derma roller video please do a search to watch it my face goes very red your face will go red the next day you'll look like you're slightly sunburned and i tend to prefer not to wear makeup 
because it's like what's the point your face is red raw it needs to heal so anyway so I go in there and then she goes to me oh no makeup as if like um, I'm buying my milk and I didn't buy milk that day and I was just like no she was like oh and I was like, right, okay. Like, what the hell is it? What do you, what, what do you mean no makeup? Like, you're just serving me. Why are you getting so over familiar that you need to comment on my face? And I was just like, okay, fine. You know what? I'll get over it. I'll get past it. You know, it's no big deal. I'm sure she didn't mean it in a bad way, whatever. She isn't a much older lady. And again, in my head, it's just going round and round. My mum going, respect your elders, respect your elders, respect your elders. Like a parrot. Anyway, I just kind of left it at that and then just pootled on off to work. And I was just talking to my colleagues about it. Like, I don't understand why people think it's acceptable to comment on what I have and haven't done to my face. Whether I'm wearing makeup or whether I'm not wearing makeup. What has it got to do with you? Why is it any of your business? Why are you inquiring? Am I asking you anything about why you're wearing a yellow shirt today and yesterday you were wearing a white shirt? Like, it's the same sort of analogy in my mind. And it's like, I don't get why people... I mean, this ain't the first time something similar as this has happened to me either. Another, This is another reason why I felt the need to do this video today. Because I thought, why is it that people especially ones that see me on a regular basis but that don't really know who I am like you don't know my first name you don't know my birthday you know nothing about me it's just that you see me all the time because I work in a particular area or I shop in a particular area often so you're used to seeing me but other than saying hello and goodbye and how are you and I'm fine and that's good have a nice weekend we don't really need to continue this dialogue asking you why as if they're entitled to know the reason to anything about you in your life. You can take my money, provide the service that you're here for to provide, and just be on your way, and I'll be on mine. Hello, goodbye, that's it. Anyway, I bristled about it for a couple of days, because I just thought, you know, how rude, how inappropriate, whatever, whatever. Q two days later, literally two days later, I go back there to get my lunch, and this time I do have makeup on. And then I go to buy my lunch, as I always do, and I go to her and then she goes to me, oh, you have makeup on today. I was like, yeah, I have. She goes, that's very good. You look horrible without makeup. I was like, pardon? She goes, yes, you look horrible without it. You look much better with makeup. And this is, she's got a smile on her face like she's done me some big favor telling me this, yeah? And I just thought, bit my tongue again in my head, respect your elders, respect your elders, respect your elders, respect your elders. And this time I was like, nah, nah, I'm going to say something because this ain't right. How dare you, you know, say that I look horrible without makeup. Those exact words, horrible, horrible. I mean, that is just one step off from calling me ugly, isn't it? So I go to her. I said, no, now hold on a second. And I said, you know what? It's okay to not wear makeup sometimes. Bear in mind, this woman ain't got a scratch her makeup on her own damn face. I said, you know what, it's okay, you don't have to always wear makeup. And she goes again with her saccharine smile. She goes, ah, yes, but you look so much better with it. I was like, thanks, okay, have a nice weekend, bye. And I was livid, livid, seriously. I just thought, how dare you say something like that to me and then try to give me some sort of backhanded compliment. And wearing makeup makes you look so much better because you know without it you look absolutely awful. Which I know is not true because I'm quite happy to go out barefaced and have no issue whatsoever. We got on one side men telling us that we wear too much makeup, they like the natural look, you know, uh, they don't like girls that wear too much makeup, blah, blah, blah. Then you've got women like this telling us the complete opposite, that actually you look ugly without makeup on and maybe you should consider wearing it all the time. I mean, come on. I mean, if I was a 16-year-old girl and somebody had told me something like that, I would have been really offended, really hurt, run home and put on a ton slap of makeup to stop myself feeling the way that that woman's made me feel. And trust me, this time when I went back to work, I told my colleagues what had happened and they were just like, ah, oh, yes, that wasn't a very nice thing to say. I was like, yes, it wasn't at all. I mean, why would you say something like that to anybody? I mean, like I said, luckily I'm a grown ass woman and I can handle it. I'm not going to cry over it. But it did make me think how many other women have been put in this position or men as well. 
I mean, imagine being that at that precocious age or when you're a teenager and you're so concerned about how you look. You've got all these pressures on you to look like this, be like this. And rather than encouraging somebody to appreciate their natural beauty, how they are, you have to make comments, derogatory comments like that, because you think you're doing someone a favor. You're actually not. You know what? That's why this saying is mind your business, because that's what you should be doing. Focusing on yourself. And why is it always aunties? Can someone tell me that, please? Is it just an Asian thing? I'm sure this happens in African culture as well. It's always these older aunties that think that they're doing you a favor. Oh, she must be tall. She must be fair. She must be pretty. She must be educated. She must be, she must be, she must be. And my son has to be fat, ugly, stupid, and doesn't know anything. And mummy has been looking after him his whole life. And now you must be his mother as well. It does make me wonder why people think it's appropriate to comment on other people's features, their clothes, the way they look. I'm frankly sick and tired of it. I mean, unless you've got something positive to say, just shut up. No one's interested in your opinion. I wear clothes for me. I wear makeup for me, I don't wear makeup for me. What has it got to do with anybody else? I happily encourage people to regularly go out and wear no makeup. I'm actually going to be filming a vlog starting from tomorrow of me not wearing any makeup for an entire week. Mostly because I've got an eye problem at the moment called blepharitis, which keeps having random flare ups, and I think actually wearing no makeup may help. But that's only on my eyes. <laughs> You know, that's only on my eyes. I'm still going to wear it no makeup on the rest of my face too. Because I'm comfortable in how I look. I'm comfortable in my skin. I'm not saying I don't have insecurities. Of course I do. I'm a human being. But do I let those insecurities define me? No. Do I let those insecurities dictate the way that I live my life on a day-to-day -day basis? No. I just live with them and get on with it and try to focus on all the positive aspects of who I am as a person, the way that I look, the way that I'm shaped, trying to concentrate on my health and make myself healthier rather than to conform to a certain standard of beauty. By the way, this is the Juvia's Place Warrior eyeshadow palette. I love it. In how many people out there hate their nose? Plenty. Why? Why do you hate your nose? It's because somebody else mentioned it once a long time ago, didn't they? Going hook nose beak whatever it is somebody said something to you at some point always other people putting these things into people's heads it gets on my nerves why can't you just say oh you look nice today or why can't you just say nothing at all because you are no one and we don't know you we don't care about you go away i've had it all before you look too fat you look too thin you're too old to wear that you're too young to wear that i mean leave me the hell alone and let me live my life happily. If I want to wear a Looney Tunes t-shirt, I will wear a Looney Tunes t-shirt. It does make me sad to think how many young girls are constantly told they don't look good enough. You know, you don't look good enough. You don't look like your sister. You don't look like your mum. Your cousins are much prettier than you, whatever it is. And I don't know why women are always made to feel that, oh, you need to look a certain way. I mean, are you just trying to dress me up as a doll for a man? Can I not just make decisions for myself about how I do and don't want to look? I often like to go out without any makeup on. I don't see the problem with it. I am happy and secure in how I look. But I'm not going to lie, it's taken me a long time to get here. But we can only grow that way if other people, rather than making them snide kind of comments, stop doing it altogether. You're not doing it for anyone's benefit. No one is learning from it. No one is making themselves a happier person. By talking to somebody like that, literally all you are doing is encouraging people to develop more insecurities, especially insecurities that they didn't have to begin with. Things that happen to you from when you're a child do follow you through into adulthood and then you need to kind of grow and learn how to accept yourself a lot better. And that is definitely something that uh, has taken me time to do. I'm definitely in a much better place now in terms of self-acceptance. But then again, I'm 36. How about a 16 year old? Somebody who's 20 years younger than me. How are they going to cope with it? If somebody goes and tells them, actually love, you're a bit ugly. Yeah, you don't look so nice wearing that. Your makeup don't look really nice. They're gonna instantly feel really hurt and start developing insecurities. I mean, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love wearing makeup, but I absolutely love not wearing makeup too. I literally have no issue in not wearing makeup. If suddenly there was no makeup in the world tomorrow, I would be absolutely fine. 
I'm at again at that stage where I'm focusing on my skin I'm trying to work more on self-love rather than worrying about what other people think of me what they assume of me and that sort of thing I think people should definitely think more about the younger generation out there and just remember how they were themselves once upon a time who is it that made you such a bitter old hag? That's what I want to know. Who told you that you were ugly so you thought it was acceptable to go and tell other people that they're ugly too without makeup on, without their hair a certain colour, a certain length, or whatever it is? You know, even when it comes to somebody like me, I get people telling me what colours suit me with makeup and I'm just like, uh-huh, I know. But I don't care. I feel like wearing blue today. I don't care that gold suits me better. I want to wear blue. You know, it's all about me, it ain't nothing to do with you. No offence, but it really isn't. Focus on your own face, focus on your own body, focus on your own health. Stop worrying about other people, you ain't my mum. If you keep telling somebody they're a mouse, they're a mouse, they're a mouse, they're a mouse, one day they're gonna wake up in the morning and go, jeep, is that what mouse does? But you know what I mean. I hate hearing people saying negative things, especially to younger people. I really don't think that they realise how much that can hurt them and affect them as they grow up they become adults, how it shapes them into the kind of humans that they are, how it teaches them how to treat other people as well. Because if you're going to constantly pour hatred towards somebody, at some point that hatred is going to spill out onto somebody else. What is beauty anyway? What is beauty? Beauty is subjective. To one person, somebody can be absolutely stunningly gorgeous. And then to somebody else, that person could be hideously unattractive. Beauty is subjective. And that's always the way that it's always been. Every human being is different. Everybody views things differently. So just because you think somebody looks ugly in a certain way, ugly, that does not mean that they are to somebody else. And most importantly, to themselves, if they don't view themselves as ugly, what gives you the right to call them ugly? It makes me sad that this kind of nonsense is still carrying on today. Why am I having to deal with this shit anyway? Why? I'm a bit old to be dealing with this too, but yet, nope always got somebody commenting on my face, always got somebody saying something about my makeup, always got somebody saying something about my clothes, the way that I walk, my shoes, the way that I talk all the time and you know what it gets exhausting like why do I need to even explain myself that's what I never get why do I who are you who are you that I need to explain myself to you I don't understand why people think that it's acceptable and appropriate to always kind of put people down in that sort of way as well I mean I know we're all different you know when we get pissed off with somebody or somebody's annoyed to say I oh, yeah, say something about their appearance fine okay we, I get that, we're human, we say nasty things, we're mean to each other, we don't really mean it. However, there are people out there that genuinely, like, this lady thought she'd do me some sort of favour by telling me that I need to be wearing makeup all the time. Like, who? For who? For you! So that you feel good about looking at me? But I'm not going to say anything about your appearance, which, by the way... Anyway... Sorry, I just went and straightened my hair off camera. Makeup's nearly done. I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Maud liquid lipstick because it goes nicely with my top. So yeah, so, oh God. I don't know what else to say really. I think people just need to stop behaving like this. Stop making women feel that they need to look a certain way, be a certain way. We must wear makeup. I mean, what's going to happen if we don't wear makeup? Is the world going to collapse? Is everybody going to die? No. Constantly got shoved down our throats. Natural beauty this, natural beauty that. And then when somebody tries to embrace their natural beauty, they're shot down and told that they look horrible without makeup. Okay, so that's it. So the makeup is done. How do I look? Do I look alright? Am I passable? Do I still look horrible? Anybody who's got anything to say about anybody, whether they do wear makeup or they don't wear makeup, mind your own business. We need to be the kind of people that encourages other people to embrace who they are, whether that means them wearing no makeup or a full face of makeup. Rather than telling people that they look horrible and ugly without makeup, we should be actually encouraging more natural beauty. Any kind of adornments and embellishments like I have going on here is just for fun. I like to wear makeup, I don't like to wear makeup as well. I'm happy with who I am, the way that I look, the way that I behave. I mean, there's always room for growth when it comes to everybody. I mean, insecurities are something that do not disappear overnight, but you do need to really question yourselves into why you have these kind of insecurities to begin with. Is it because 
Like, for example, what happened to me, somebody else told you you don't look good because of X, Y and Z. And you have held on to that insecurity for your entire life to the point where it has resulted in you doing drastic things to change the way that you look. It's an issue that you've got inside. And then that is reflected on the outside. We need to work on self-love, loving ourselves inside. And then that is what will help you to move forward as an individual, grow as a person, because the world is full of so many horrible things. The last thing you want to be worrying about is I don't have the perfect set of lips because somebody else has told you, oh, you've got very thin lips. You know, who cares? A mouth is there to eat with. So that's it for my story time stroke talk about... Um, insecurities and the way that we look and the way that we have perceived beauty and you know the way that the general public reacts to you just because you're dressed in a set I mean who cares I don't even know you what is with this over familiarity that some people have I don't understand is that like just because I say hi to you does not give you the right to comment on my I don't know my hair I mean what's it got to do with you it's on my head it's not on yours that's because other people need to actually work on their self-love. Because they don't love themselves, they project their negativity onto you to try and make you feel less of a person so that you do not have that level of confidence that they wish that they had. Hold on to that confidence. Build yourself up. Just remind yourself that when somebody else says something negative to you, it's a reflection of them rather than of you. And pity them and encourage them to maybe seek help to not be such a nasty, spiteful person. Hateful people do not live long. Hateful people have very sad and miserable lives because eventually that hate that you carry around inside, it starts to eat away at you and it will impact on your day-to-day -day life. It's just not worth it. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all soon. Bye.